Assalamualaikum everyone. My name is Hamid Hussain, and you are watching Commerce Online. Um, I have solved from question number one point one to one point seven in my previous videos. In this lecture, I will solve question number one point eight. Remember, I am following Frank Ward's fourteenth edition. So. In question number one point four, one point eight, a R Hill is starting a business. Before starting to sell anything, he bought fixtures of for thirty two hundred, a van for four thousand seven fifty, and an inventory of goods for twenty three forty. Although he has paid in full for the fixtures and the van, he still owes one thousand nine hundred and ten. For some of the inventory, P. Harding lent him. P. Harding gave him loan five thousand. After the above, Hill has five twenty in the business bank account and hundred cash in hand. So, a hundred pound in cash in hand. You are required to calculate his capital. So, what do you need to do? You need to find out capital. As I have told you earlier, that if you want to calculate capital, what you need to do? You first Need to calculate assets, and then you have to subtract liabilities from asset, and in the end you will get what you will get the amount of capital. So here I will follow balance sheet approach. So first you need to write R Hill, and then balance sheet. First you will write non. Current asset. What we need to do? We need to calculate the amounts of non-current assets. What are non-current assets? Non-current assets are those assets which have use for life more than one year. So here, fixture is non-current asset. When is also a non-current asset. So we have two non-current asset. I will write fixture. That is thirty two hundred. When that is four seven five zero. That is the amount of when, and that is the amount of this is the amount of fixture. So total non current assets are. Zero five nine seven. So seven nine five zero are the total non-current assets. So then, after non-current asset, what we need to find? We need to find current assets. Current assets starts with inventory of goods. That is twenty three forty. So what I will write here? I will write inventory. That is. Two three four zero cash at bank that is five twenty pound. I will write cash at bank that is five twenty and cash in hand that is hundred. So cash in hand hundred. If I add them all, we get. Twenty nine hundred and sixty, and that is the total of current assets. So I will write total current assets. After I get the total current asset, what I need to do? I need to add non current asset to total current asset. So I will get one zero nine one zero. So that is the amount of total assets. After getting the total figure of asset, what we need to do, we need to subtract liabilities. So what I will write here, I will write less liabilities, or just I need to do, I need to just write liability here, as I have solved the question in my previous video. So here there are two liabilities in this question. Number one is account payable. 
Account payable is he still owes one nine one zero for some of the inventory. So account payable is amount one nine one zero, and P Harding lent him five thousand pound. So when I add them both, I will get six nine one zero. What I will do? I will less total liabilities from total asset. At the end, the result would be four thousand, and this four thousand is our net assets or capital. So that's it from today. After that, I will solve question number one point nine and one point two. Remember, I am following Frankfurt Fourteenth Edition, and uh, I hope you like my video. So subscribe and don't forget to share.